If you're looking for a budget anamorphic lens, this might be an option. In this video, I'm going to show you short and silly cinematic footage shot with this lens for me preparing my milk coffee. I'll be telling you what does the anamorphic lens do, what comes in the box with this lens, and for sure, what I like or I don't like about it. So keep watching. My next B-roll is going to be so simple. I'm not going to have any slow motion, any speed ramping or crazy transitions. It's going to be as simple as what you see in the movies. And the reason why I created this B-roll is to show you the outcome of this lens. This is the Ulanzi mobile anamorphic lens. Just a little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by anyone. I just bought this lens from my own money and I'm testing it out, showing you the outcome in case you guys decided to buy one. So while we are watching this B-roll, I need you to focus on two things. I need you to focus on the lens distortion and the lens flares. That's it. And before watching this B-roll, please guys consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video because that helps a lot. After watching the B-roll, I will be telling you how does the anamorphic lens work and what did I like and what I didn't like about this lens. So let's roll the B-roll. So I hope you guys enjoyed my short coffee and milk cinematic b-roll. What you have seen was shot by my old Nokia phone and the Ulanzi mobile anamorphic lens. So how does the anamorphic lens work? Basically, uh, I will try to make it as simple as I can. The anamorphic lens will collect more data horizontally, wider footage, and will squeeze them into the sensor size. So later on in post-processing, you'll be able to squeeze it and have wider footage with black border up and down and enjoy the cinematic look. What did I like and what I didn't like about this lens? First of all, the packaging is so nice. It comes in this little aluminum case and what comes in the case, the cleaning cloth and this is all what comes in the case. If you can see it, it's the lens. The lens all made of metal with front and rear cap it comes with this clip. Uh, this clip is made of plastic and it comes with another clip, uh, another clip with a screw. This screw clip is full made of metal. And this lens has the same body and shape of the Moment anamorphic lens. And this is an advantage if you want to use the Moment accessories like filters, cages, and so on. This is really an expensive lens and if you want to have this anamorphic look, you can have it for some time. It's very cheap and useful. What I don't like about this lens, I noticed that there is some distortion in the footage and there was a blue flare. I don't know if the anamorphic lens flare has to be blue or not, but it was too blue. That's all what I have against this lens. Otherwise, everything is nice. Uh, the mounting system uh, is limited. I don't have much options to mount this lens on my phone. There is no cases. I think there is more options for the iPhone users. So that's it. It's awesome experience. I like it. Hope you like the video guys. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe because that helps a lot. Like, share, comment, do whatever is good and hopefully we'll see Peter McKinnon doing coffee and milk b-roll later in the future even though I didn't see him 
ever drinking milk <laughs> so thank you for watching guys until the next video see you soon yalla bye